stork enamine reactions utilize the nucleophilicity of enamines at their alpha carbon in order to form new carbon-carbon bonds under mild conditions. A ketone or aldehyde is first converted to the corresponding enamine through condensation with a secondary amine. The enamine then reacts with an electrophile and the resultant aminium ion is hydrolyzed upon workup so as to afford the ketone or aldehyde now bearing a new group at the alpha center. We have already seen an example of this type of reactivity in the alpha alkylation video. There we saw enamines being treated with alkyl halides to install a new group at the alpha position. In this entry, we will consider electrophiles other than alkyl halides. The first step of the reaction is the conversion of the ketone or aldehyde into the enamine. And the mechanism for this transformation is covered in detail in the video on enamine formation and hydrolysis. The enamine is then treated with an electrophile. And as the enamine pi bond attacks that electrophile, nitrogen's lone pair electrons form an aminium ion. Subsequent treatment of the aminium ion with aqueous acid leads to hydrolysis, which unveils the original ketone or aldehyde. The mechanism for this process is also described in the video on enamine formation and hydrolysis. The ketone or aldehyde now bears a new substituent on its alpha carbon. In the following specific example, cyclohexanone is first converted to a corresponding enamine through condensation with a secondary amine. This enamine then undergoes Michael reaction. Here, the Michael acceptor is methyl vinyl ketone. The enamine, which is a mild nucleophile, attacks the beta position of methyl vinyl ketone. As it does so, nitrogen's lone pair forms an aminium ion. The alkene pi bonding electrons are displaced towards the carbonyl, and the carbonyl pi electrons are pushed onto oxygen. Two things happen during the workup with aqueous acid. The enolate is protonated, and the aminium ion is also hydrolyzed so as to unveil the original ketone. Notice that the product contains a 1,5-dicarbonyl, which is the hallmark of a Michael reaction. The strategic value of the stork enamine reaction is that it allows us to accomplish a Michael addition that would have been challenging if we didn't proceed through the enamine. Recall that Michael reactions require stabilized enolates having two electron withdrawing groups on the alpha carbon. Cyclohexanone, however, possesses only a single electron withdrawing ketone, so it would not make a sufficiently stabilized enolate. Therefore, the Michael addition, as shown here on this slide, would be problematic. However, the Stork protocol allowed us to circumvent this problem by using the enamine as the nucleophile rather than the enolate. Stork enamine reactions can utilize a variety of electrophiles. In the following example, an acid chloride serves as the electrophile in the preparation of a 1,3-dicarbonyl compound. Cyclohexanone is first converted to an enamine, 
and it is the enamine that plays the role of the nucleophile in a nucleophilic acyl substitution on the acid chloride. As the enamine attacks the acid chloride's electrophilic carbonyl carbon, the carbonyl pi electrons are displaced onto oxygen. This results in the formation of a tetrahedral intermediate, which collapses so as to expel chloride as the carbonyl reforms. The aminium ion is then hydrolyzed upon treatment with aqueous acid to afford the 1,3-dicarbonyl product. In summary, the stork enamine reaction utilizes an enamine as a neutral and therefore mild enolate equivalent in reactions where unstabilized enolates would be problematic. The enamine attacks an electrophile and the aminium ion that results is hydrolyzed upon workup. The electrophile can be an alkyl halide, an alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compound, an acid chloride, or some other similarly electrophilic species. The product is an aldehyde or ketone bearing a new alpha substituent. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.